Hi and welcome back to Chili Product Trials and Tribulations. This is episode number 10. Now when I first started, I, I didn't know if I'd do 10 episodes, but here we are. And so, th today I, I have something a little different. I have this little fellow right here. This is just an average, ordinary, run-of-the-mill orange habanero from Winn-Dixie. So we're, I'm, I'm going to taste this and see how it goes. It, it's not chili season, so this was the best I, I could do. Yeah. So the, the, uh, the, this is looking fully ripe. It, it's, it's about a average size. So it looks fairly tasty. Ho hopefully it, it, it will be tasty. and and have some heat with it too. So, so let's find out. One, two, three. Hmm. Chewing on some seeds. Okay, flavor is slightly fruity, also maybe slightly citrusy. The heat starts out in, in the throat. Heat definitely building up. A little bit in the throat. Now moving toward the tongue. Tongue's on fire. Particularly the, the front part and center part. Starting to get a nice lip burn too. Starting to salivate a little bit. The, the heat in the throat already starting to diminish a little bit. Now concentrating mainly on where most habaneros make their mark. Front part of the tongue, a little bit in, in the roof of the mouth, and on the lips. Hmm. This particular habanero, not as hot as some that I've had. Some make you hiccup and tear up and that's not happening here. Uh, but yeah, but pretty good. I will say, as time goes on, the flavor goes from fruity and citrusy to kind of a slightly bitter raw vegetable taste sort of like a bell pepper but with heat but uh, yeah I'm, I'm glad I was able to get this the orange habanero is a perfect chili to start out with they're easy to find and don't just absolutely blow you away with their heat level. <sighs> well, it's chilly outside. For Clearwater, Florida, that is. And this habanero warmed me up nicely. 
the heat lingering on the tongue and on the lips not gonna worry about that uh, maybe get a teeny little bit of sweat on on top of my head but nothing too great uh, salivating a little bit but uh, yeah that was just about an average size habanero it's good to, to try the chilies every once in a while because then when, when you eat the sauce you can pick up the flavors mm. but you know, I, I we won't be doing this that often but uh, in the future there there will be more raw chili peppers m more exotic ones hotter ones but this was a good one to start out with heat now is starting to calm down orange habaneros range from about a hundred thousand to two hundred fifty thousand scoffle units on on average but I'd say this one was definitely on the lower end of the scale. I found that Scotch bonnets tend to be much hotter. Usually, e even though that they're supposed to be the same, but I'd say that this chili was probably no more than about a hundred thousand heat units. Heat now dying down on uh, on the tongue and on the lips. Starting to feel a, a little bit of warmth going down. But hey, it's all good. I'll be back next time with a sauce. And um, if you get the advantage, if you get the opportunity, try one of these yourself. They're, they're pretty good. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Have a good night.